comments and suggestions from citizens present. This is your chance to address the council about any item that may properly come before the city council and is not on tonight's agenda. Is there anyone who'd like to address the council? All right, we'll move on to consent agenda items. Would you read the consent agenda, please? To approve the regular meeting minutes of July 21st, 2008. To approve one lot certified survey map to create one one family residential lot in the town of Troy as proposed by Bill and Julia Cernahaus. To approve claims for payment in the amount of $511,159.25. A detailed description is available in the clerk's office on request. To approve the hiring of two election inspectors to assist with voting related activities for the presidential election and to authorize a budget amendment to transfer the funding from the clerk treasurer's budget to the election budget with the additional consideration that the absentee voting location will be in room 211 at city hall to approve the request of tamara bartlett to construct a fence within an easement area at 70 meadowlark drive upon execution of the easement agreement to approve the request of greg and renee Raffelli to construct a fence within an easement area at 7 Nicholas Way upon execution of the easement agreement. To place on file the Public Utility Commission minutes of July 22, 2008, the Zoning, Board of, the Zoning and Building Board of Appeals minutes of September 4, 2007, and the quarterly reports of the Fire Chief, Library Director, and Building Inspector. That is all. Move for approval. So we have a motion and a second to approve. Any discussion? A roll call vote. Morset? Yes. O'Malley? Yes. Wyland? Yes. Virchel? Yes. Bernard? Yes. Broca? Yes. Consent agenda is approved. Um, before we go forward, there was one item on our agenda I'd like to call to your attention and ask for your input. Um, The lakefront park wall um, under 7A1, update on projects. Review options and costs for possible revisions to lakefront wall. Um, there was some discussion or I heard input from at least one member about the possibility of going there. If you'd like to do that, there's light until about 8.30. We need to make a decision about either rearranging our schedule or whether you'd like to do that at all. If you'd like to do it, then we can't let it go until it's too dark to do it. So if, uh, if you would, this is probably the time to say so. I'd like yes. to make a comment on that. Uh, I have been there uh, and don't necessarily for myself need to go again. But I think that uh, since we were furnished um, uh, uh, maps of it that are not uh, the landscape view, it would be helpful, I believe, if the council members wouldn't mind the track, to, uh, to look at it from the vantage point of standing in front of it as though you were uh, a visitor to Hudson yourself. Well, on my part, I've been down there as well, so I don't need to, to go down there again. Well, put it this way. We're not going down there unless someone says at this point they would like us to do that. Um, was that what I heard, Scott? Was you uh, I've been there. I know Lee's been there, and, and Randy's been there, and I don't know about other people. It is useful to see it. If right. you've already seen it, then fine. I, I put this in the agenda like this not to direct us to do it, but to leave you the option to go if you'd like to. I think we've all probably been down there. It's just a question of would it, you know, would it uh, be useful for us to all look at it together, uh, go through these different options together, and so we can't all say later, well, we didn't really know what anyone was talking about. So I would be in support of us going down there if we could do it expeditiously. Then let's make an effort to. Uh Let's let's rearrange our agenda and leave unfinished business to the end and try to take care of everything else before 8.30. Uh, 
Next item on the agenda is from the Plan Commission's um, item number two, certified survey map, one lot for multiple family residential development on Heritage Boulevard, part of Section 33, City of Hudson, Heritage Greens, Planned Residential Development, Beneman Farm, LLC. Recommendation from the Plan Commission is for approval. Move to approve on a recommendation of uh, staff. I'll second that if you'll include the conditions that are stipulated in the Plan Commission's recommendation. Yes. So we have a motion to approve the Plan Commission's recommendation with the stipulations. Any discussion? Just one question. Um, I guess I'm wondering why we're reviewing this if it's in the town of Troy. And I'm sure there's some. Okay, now we're on number two on this one, but I'll answer your question anyway. We did number one on um, Good, consent agenda. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm on the wrong but the answer to that is that we have extraterritorial power going out mile and a half. Okay. Mile and a half, approximately. Um, and so we we can actually control things like this outside of our city limits. Um, any other discussion on the motion? I, I have just got a question now. This is P11 and, and P12. Is that? Um, yes. It's a little confusing, Pam, because the numbers are all the same. And I ask, Phil, will you come and explain for us, or one of you, will you explain for her where this one is? This item number two, so it's, this is actually in the Heritage Cottage. Uh, yeah. I am Phil Domer, Vice President of Development at Bright Keys. And the first item here, the first CSM, is for the 24 uh, senior cottages by the Girard Corporation, and it is north of the pond against uh, 35W, and I can walk over and point that out to you if you'd like. Okay. It would be useful to have it tied back to the original P numbers we talked about, because then it's easier to say, oh yeah, I got that in my head with a... Yeah. P11, P12. Okay. Yeah, this actually is not one of those parcels. This was actually approved in April, and then we're just trying to do the CSMs for both of them together. So the, the second CSM that is gonna have three CSMs, that includes the P parcels that you've just recently heard. Mm -hmm. This first one is north of that. It wasn't even part of the area. It's always been slated for townhomes, and, the, and actually we reduced density mm -hmm. um, with the Girard proposal. Question. I actually like to make a comment, like something to be in the minutes uh, to reflect uh, in this conversation. Uh, Denny Darnold is on vacation and, uh, yes. and is not with us this evening. So in his absence, I would uh, like to uh, have Madam Clerk note in the minutes that we're talking about uh, parcels that we discussed uh, at great length in our most recent meeting, uh, lots uh, P11, P12, but we most especially discussed lots uh, or parcels P1 and P2. Uh, Mr. Darnold had noted uh, to the, I believe, second decimal point, the amount of acreage in each of these parcels. I would like future councils and, and council members in the future to be notified that whenever a CSM comes up for this development, that it conforms to the exact acreage as approved uh, in the uh, development plan that was approved at our last council meeting, so that since we don't have lot lines locked down by CSMs for every parcel here, we will at least note the size of the parcel and maintain the size of that parcel. Thank you. 
All right, and let me just note once again that this particular parcel is not part of those that were under discussion and at great length and was actually outside of it and really there's been no controversy about this one and the density that's currently being proposed is less dense. Um, but your point is well taken. I think you're expressing concern about the sliding around of the lot lines. Right. You and may as you want to bring that, that up. But yes. anything in the development. Okay. This was approved last April. It was, but now we'll have final development. Number four down below deals with final development plans. I mean, it's time to start building on this one. Mm -hmm. um, it would be a mistake uh, to lock in the lot lines everywhere in this project, but I think it would be wise to lock in the lot lines on parcels one and two. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And the reason I say that is that part of this type of zoning, a planned residential zoning, is to allow flexibility. And one of the proposed changes that's going to be before us, I think, actually improves things. So, you, you know, by locking it down you, and saying you can never change it, you preclude the possibility that it could be changed. Well, and, that, and that is not what I asked for. I just asked oh. that we keep this in mind in yep. any future CSM applications so that we're aware that uh, uh, lots, particularly P1 and yeah. P2, are not being enlarged or diminished from where we originally agreed. Yeah. But just for clarification, this is not even P11 or P12. No. It's outside of mm -hmm. the discussion. But I'm making the comment week. now because it deals with the sure. same development. Correct. Same development. Any more discussion? Do I have a motion yet? No. We need a motion. I, was I do have a motion. And a second. If there's no further discussion, ready to vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Number three, certified survey map, three lots for multiple family commercial development on Heritage Boulevard extension, part of Section 33, City of Hudson, Heritage Greens, Planned Residential Development, Beaneman Farm, LLC. Now this one, uh, <clears throat> this does deal with the commercial and changing the lot lines. Uh, you'll remember there was a bank that was proposed. There was a gas station that at one point was proposed on lot one and then the bank wanted to be on lot two and have two more for future developments. The bank now wants to be on lot one and wanted lot one to be larger. That's lot one, not P1. Right. It's lot one, which is P12. It's lot one on your current map, which was P12 on the other map. Mr. Um, are you looking for a motion? I am. I will move to approve with uh, uh, recommendations of the uh, city planner and uh, uh, planning commission. Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? There's concerns been expressed about that there will be an attempt to do this with what was called parcel P1 and P2. I'd be opposed to it. I think the council in general would be opposed to it and the public would be opposed to that. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to do something to lock that down, this would be a chance to express that as part of this motion. Otherwise, we can deal with it if it comes up. It's, it's no. not really before not P1 before and us. 2, it's not on the agenda, and it's not before you right now. So. All right. Can't do that. <laughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Number four is final development plans for Heritage Cottages. 24 senior apartments, Heritage Greens, planned residential development. Gerard Corporation. Um, plan Commission recommend approval of the final development plans with the following conditions. Revised engineering plans to be approved by the city engineer and water utility director. Approval of a roadway access for the site, plan for the site by the fire, EMS, and building inspector prior to occupancy and utility easements to be provided to the city within 60 days of filing of the certified survey map for water and storm 
water utilities, and uh, city engineer Chuck Schwartz mentioned to me he thought we should also make this contingent on completion of Heritage Boulevard near there. Do I have that right? Well, yeah, just. As part of the record, I, th I think it should be noted that um, that Heritage Boulevard 2008 construction plans uh, need to, you know, that sewer water street needs to be built to serve this, and so I wanted that part of the record. Okay. Any questions about the staff and committee recommendation from your issue sheet? Move for approval with the conditions as stated. We have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Motion and a second. Any further discussion? Are you looking to include uh, Chuck's words? The conditions as stated included Chuck's discussion of the, of the roadway. Other questions? Pam? Anything? Yes, sir. Could I just un uh, understand what that condition was? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that the, about the road. Could you could you write down what? What actually are you recommending? Okay. Let's. Can you state it again, Chuck, and we'll write it down for the record this time. My concern isn't that it needs to be built prior to approval, but as part of the record that. This approval is uh, contingent upon uh, providing those services and, and getting that um, road built and the sewer and the water. And so that's that's why I wanted to, um, you know, the contingent upon the Heritage Boulevard plans getting built to serve it. So if I'm understanding right, what you're really asking is that a, a condition or a certificate of occupancy wouldn't be issued without those services complete. Yes, I'd because we we get in the chicken the egg. We can't build the road without the approval, mm -hmm. and we can't provide the services without the approval. So. And if if for something were to happen where that didn't get built, I just want to make sure there's there's a record that we're all yeah. understanding that that these utilities need to be yeah. provided. Yeah. Serve the building. I, I hear you. Got you. it. Thank you. More discussion questions. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next item, application for operator's licenses. Mr. Mayor, I recuse myself. Yes. Re recusal for Mr. Morissette. Lori? Before we go on, and I know it's out of order, but I think there's people here on the issue of P1 and P2. Can I just ask that that be put on next, uh, next meeting's agenda, that we discuss the issue of lot lines um, between P1 and P2 and get that nailed down? Sure. Okay, I know it's out of order, but I want to make sure we address that. We will. Thank you. Uh, okay, the item is applications for operator's licenses. The Finance Committee recommended approval of the staff recommendation on three of the applications. They were by Mary B. Larry Yoakum and Amber Swanson for regular operator's licenses for the period 8 508 to 630-2010. What's your pleasure? Move to approve. We have a motion to approve. Second. Second. Any questions? Comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Those three uh, operator's licenses are approved. The Finance Committee um, recommends and the Chief of Police recommends denial of the application by Catherine M. Williams, Prescott, Wisconsin, on the basis that uh, she's had three convictions for uh, violations of laws regulating alcohol, three prior underage drinking and driving condition, convictions in the last four years. And the recommendation is that 
She is not eligible to hold an operator's license under Wisconsin Statutes 125.045A1 and 125.045B. Move to deny. We have a motion to deny. Second. And a second. Comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Next item is a resolution providing for the partial defeasance and or redemption of outstanding obligations of the City of Hudson, Wisconsin relating to tax incremental district number four. This is resolution number 11-08. The Finance Committee recommended approval. It would take uh, suspension of the rules if you want to enact resolution 1108 tonight. Move to suspend the rules. We have a motion. Second. And a second. Any discussion on the suspension? Move to adopt resolution. Number Wait a minute, we need oh, a roll oh, call oh. vote on the suspension. Oh. <laughs> Morissette? Yes. O'Malley? Yes. Wyland? Yes. Birchill? Yes. Bernard? Yes. Broca? Yes. Rules are suspended towards adoption of resolution 1108. Now you do it. <laughs> Move to adopt resolution number 1108. We have a motion to adopt. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Resolution is adopted. Number five, approved bid and award contract. We found that uh, this is for our sidewalk curb and gutter replacement project. We, we need to postpone. We'll need to have another public hearing on that. Uh, Can I ask one question on that while it's on? Yes. Okay. Um, as we have uh, certain contractors are doing a lot of work around town, is it possible to, for other reasons, not to select the low bidder other than money? Yes, but you need to be able to state uh, valid reasons or concerns not to choose the low bidder. There can be other considerations. I think if, if there's a case where you intend to come to a meeting and do that, you might want to consult with the city attorney mm -hmm. so that we have I was reasons. thinking this, uh, there are other considerations like, you know, any one contractor having a majority of the bids kind of thing. It was uh, something I was thinking of. But we can discuss that offline. Um, Unless there's any objection because we haven't had a proper public hearing, we're going to postpone. Is there any objection on number five being postponed? Hearing none. Number seven, review and consider approving job description for administrative assistant position in the police department and consider reclassifying employee from records clerk three to administrative assistant. Finance committee recommended this uh, approval. Any questions? Move to approve. We have a motion to approve. Second. And a second. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion is carried. Number eight, consider funding sources for possible revisions to Lakefront Park retaining wall project. Uh, Finance committee recommended that uh, we would if we choose to or need the money that we could take $20,000 from um, the Lakefront Park project itself, which is currently under what was bonded for. And if more than that is needed, we'd take up to $5,000 from the funds that were allocated to the Prospect Park and have been bonded for. And I can explain that if you'd like. Are there any questions about that? Why don't you just make okay. a motion? All right, I will move that we fund, if, if this option is chosen, that we fund it out of the excess funds that are available for Lakefront Park, as well as $5,000 from the Prospect Park. Second. Motion and a second. Lee, comments? No, I'll None? So. No. Anyone else questions on that? This is not deciding what to do, just where the money would come from. I just point out on this recommendation, I think Chuck is 
recommending an option that's 26 to 20 and you don't want I haven't really looked at it but you don't want to delay 22 six. is this a different thing that's tell me if <laughs> if it's a different project but I don't want you to have to do it again it's Okay. Yeah, well, there's, there's some extra work that's already been done that I included in that memo. Okay. There, there's some uh, revisions to that path that I've already done. So is 25000 sure the right amount? Well, I don't know how much contingency you have in, in the other project, but the, in the... Uh, um, 22620. I think oh, it was an inversion idea. of two numbers. Yeah. It's a typo. Yeah. You sent an type. email at one point that had some numbers and. Yeah, because in my comments here, additional work completed to date, 3,600, uh, the north end, and then so if you add the 3,600 plus the. the 2620. The 6,900. You had this plus the 3,600 he's talking about. That's where he came up with the 2,600. Oh. I just don't want you to have to do it again, so. <laughs> Just second, Pat. The, the purpose of this item being here is so that we identify funding before we make a decision so that we aren't caught. You know, so the, the, the sense of the Finance Committee was that we would use the um, underage from Lakefront and then the backup source would be funding from Prospect. Perhaps that's all we need here, but Mm -hmm. the, the finance committee motion was for 5,000. Would you like to amend it to something different? I think Pat had a comment. Well, that was going to be my suggestion of changing it from a, a hard number of $5,000 to just the extra money is necessary coming from Prospect Park. And I'll amend my motion to say that. Oh, it's okay with a second. Second. Yep. Is everyone clear on that? So we're identifying a source and a general amount, and we'll talk about exactly what later. Any further comments then on the motion? The motion is to uh, fund from the Undridge at Lakefront and at Prospect. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say no. That motion carries. The Finance Committee recommended approval. Let's see. That's it for finance. Okay, so where are we at? Public works. The resolution will have to delay. Yeah. So under, we're on item number 9A, new business, which needs to be postponed. That was going to be our curb and gutter project needs to be postponed. That would take us down to B, consider placement of bicycle racks in downtown Hudson, donated by River Valley Trails. Uh, this item has been re um, <coughs> requested by Denny Darnold, who got a letter offering to do this. I'd like to refer this to the Public Works Committee and the Park Board for their next meetings for possible action recommendation. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. So will they recommend where they'll be placed? They need to look at the whole policy of will we do it, do we have room. For the park board, we've recently also had a request for um, vending, newspaper vending machines. This needs committee work and isn't ready for us here, so yes. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, number C, consider changing second council meeting in September from 9.15 to 9.22. That was a suggestion I had because of the library, um, the deadline for putting something on the ballot for the library question will be uh, September 23rd. So this would be essentially our last possible day to take that action. We don't have to. The regular meeting date would be the regular third Monday, which is the 15th. I thought we might be able to avoid having a special meeting if we change that right now. At our last meeting, I mentioned possibly having the, the uh, first meeting of the month a different week. That's against municipal code. 
which specifies on Monday holidays that we meet on the Tuesday following, so that will make it the day after Labor Day. I'll move that we move the September 15th meeting to September 22nd. Second. Okay, motion and second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Item five, update banking depository resolution. Betty, this resolution is 12-08, is routine. Does anyone have questions for Betty on this? Yeah, I have a question on Associated Bank. Aren't they the same? Hudson and uh, Green Bay? Um, Different charters? I Hudson because our major bank and our, all our um, depository funds are there right now, but I do banking services through the Green Bay. I think I probably would cover it with just the one, but um, better safe than that. I think they're the same institution, though, aren't they? They're the same, yes. I mean, I have, um, yes, they're the same institution. Okay. Any other uh, comments on this? If we want to adopt it, we need to spend the rules. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Second. Any discussion on suspending the rules? Roll call vote on suspending the rules. Roll call? Yes. Bernard? Yes. Virgil? Yes. Island? Yes. O'Malley? Yes. Morset? Yes. The rules are suspended towards adoption of resolution 12 08. Move to adopt resolution 12 08. I have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Motion and a second to adopt 12 08. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say no. Resolution is adopted. Next item is a borrowing resolution required by Associated Bank. It's resolution number 13-08. It's routine. If there are any questions, Betty will answer them. If not, we need to suspend the rules. Move to suspend the rules. Is there a second? A second. Motion and a second. Any discussion on the suspension? Roll call vote on suspension of the rules for 1308. Yes. 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 Morissette? Yes. Bernard? Yes. Brokaw? Yes. Rules are suspended for adoption of resolution number 1308 uh, without a first reading. Move to adopt resolution 13-08 if my name will be added to, to be a borrower. <laughs> <laughs> That okay. motion is out of order. I'll, re <laughs> I'll rephrase my motion to adopt resolution 13 08. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? That requires three borrowers the treasurer, the city administrator, or the mayor. One or the way I read it is that three are required. That's the way I read it also. It should only be one of the three. It says number required three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. two yes. Out of the three. <laughs> Actually, that should be two out of the three, Betty. For no, it says any three, any three. Oh, that excuse me. That is three, though. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Now it doesn't say any of the three. No, it says number required three. You're right. It should it should be one, and um, it should be and two. it's it's for the purpose two. of really administrating the the um, credit cards. We have a online so that we can make payment or that we could change the credit amounts on them and that's basically the sole purpose of this also that we would fund should our our employees go out and use the credit cards and we will actually make the payment is what we're saying it's a borrowing situation I, well, would it I think you're saying it's it's one beyond yourself right because still be two signers I think that would I you think you want to have two Betty. Mm -hmm. well we can have two that's fine well, this isn't something you need to do every month. Yeah, any two of the three. So getting three mm -hmm. people to sign wouldn't so be a duly not around, onerous, would it? Have no, but two or three would be better than three. I don't yes. Think one person wants to be authorized and Right. Well, we've got a motion already, so we need to change our motion on this. Uh, I Someone. will amend my motion to have the resolution uh, insert uh, the following on line five. Resolved that any two of the three named officers. Hello. Is there a second? I'll second that or agree with that. Okay. 
Any objection to changing that? All right. So the motion's changed to say any two of the three named officers. Further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Resolution 1308 is adopted as amended. Communications and resolutions or recommendations of the mayor. Um, I'd like to appoint to fill the vacancy on the boarding board of zoning appeals. Um, Regina Heron has or will be shortly moving from the city and has resigned. Um, Mary Senkis has been serving as second alternate. She's agreed to fill the remainder of Ms. Heron's term. She's very qualified. She served on a similar board um, across the river for more than 10 years. And um, so I recommend her appointment. Uh, that leaves a vacancy in the second alternate position. Mary Yacoub is here and I recommend her to uh, serve as the second alternate to fill the remainder of that term. That term runs through 2010. Um, and then Jim Steele has been serving on the uh, Hudson Housing Authority for a number of years, done a good job and would like to be reappointed. And um, I think we'd be lucky to have him, so I'd reappoint him. So moved. Is there a second? Okay. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Not sure if we needed approval of those, but <coughs> good to have it there. Okay, other than our unfinished business, which we have postponed, what's left? Communications and items for future agendas by any alder person. Now, Lori already mentioned the question of sliding the lot line on item B, uh, lot B1, B2, Heritage Greens. We'll bring that up. City Attorney? Nothing here. City Administrator? Any questions on the update at all? We have firmed up that August 18th, which is the Monday, we will start the process of the health insurance information gathering. So that will take place then. I guess along that line, if we could see what the timeline is, you want me to get the target chart? dates for all these, and, sure. and if we're on target for that, right. mm -hmm. that would be right. helpful at this point. The, what's helpful is having that month um, delay from the state because health insurance brokers and providers are hesitant to go more than three months out, so having that extra month to work into October. But I'll have Deb give me a Gantt chart showing what their line right. is. I thought initially we were going to be collecting data in July. Yeah, I think it was August. But okay. I but I just the, want to make right, sure yeah. we're But the more track. recent the data, the better it is as far as the, because otherwise we'd have to go back. But I'll have her get me a Gantt chart of some kind showing their timeline. Mr. Mayor, I'd like clarification. Are we coming back for unfinished business on update and projects? I think we've cleared our agenda with the exception of unfinished business update on projects at this point. And or approving the uh, options of the wall? Correct. Um, both of those are our two remaining items. So we have time and daylight if you've got an urge to go there. I guess I'd like to ask the other council members uh, before we adjourn from here and, and reconvene elsewhere, we have a recommendation uh, from our consulting engineer. It would be a little uh, silly if we all go down there and look at it and say, well, we all agree with the recommendation anyway. If, if, is there anyone who doesn't agree with the recommendation and would like to see the liquid wall? I'm not asking for a vote at this time. This is a little unusual. Catherine's already looking at me with scans. Well, it, the, well, you can talk about this the This is a meeting options. of the council. This okay. item is up on the agenda, and the floor is open for you to make a motion at any time. Well, including right now. I will move that we accept the recommendation of option uh, of the option named by Chuck Schwartz uh, 
for the lakefront wall of continuing the wall to a 12 foot wide uh, stairs matching the stairs that are already there second what option was that scott uh, i can't remember if it's one or two two two, two isn't it two chuck right yes two yes two. option yeah. number two thank you yep. Can I just mention at this point, it would be really helpful if we had this stuff up on PowerPoint so that folks at home know what we're talking about. You're absolutely right. You know, these discussions should not be happening out of thin air. Unfortunately, we don't have a, a graphic of that in landscape view. So. No, but this must be in a computer. Yeah. Right, and that could be up on the screen. That's folks a good point. Don't know what we're talking I agree with about. You. If the council doesn't object, I asked a couple of the park board members to be here, and if either of you would like to say anything on this, this might be the time. If not, you don't have to. Pat Casanova, the chairman of the park board. Uh, the intent of the park board all along was to do the walls in a fashion that would mitigate or, or lessen the semi-annual floodings that take, down, that take place down in the park that, in which we have water coming up in onto the grass, um, into the park that requires every year to be reseeded and, and dealt with. The, uh, the park board, we thought in the original drawings that that was that elevation was going to be continued across the entire thing to um, keep that from happening. As it turned out, when we reviewed it, it didn't. Um, after looking at it a, a number of different times with a number of different people, this was the best solution to be able to come up with to accomplish that and still get it done in a timely fashion and have a nice looking project when it's all done. Um, I think this will accomplish all of that and we can get moving forward and get everything done down there. Thanks, Pat. Pat, how long is this going to take? I mean, <laughs> once we approve, I mean, what are we going to do? Are we going to sit here and wait until it snows no. before floods? I or believe, uh, Tom, everything the city's got ready to go down there on, on your part, has it not? No. So um, the intent is to get, it, get the stair work and everything else done as soon as possible so that seating can take place as soon as possible, as soon as the weather permits, and it's a good time to get in there and seed. So once we approve this, will we move forward with the rest of the uh, additional phase three? Yes. Yeah. yeah, in regard to the wall project, uh, Pember has indicated uh, to us that uh, they, they would get in there is, uh, on Thursday of this week, correct? Yep, the, the blocks and the steps are readily, readily available products, um, and that's when they'll get in there and start right away on it. And once we resolve where exactly that path's going to be, you know, then, then that gives us the ability to move forward on, the, on phase three as well, which is the landscaping. Okay. Uh, you, you just mentioned when you resolve where the path is going to be, what, who makes that decision, and is that something we can do tomorrow night, or what, what's... What needs to be decided? Well, should you choose to go forward with option two, it would be built in accordance with that plan, and we would work uh, very closely with, uh, you know, staff, Tom, and uh, JJ, and, and Pat as well uh, on that. So it would be built. Those two walls would be extended at that 684 contour that everybody wants to see, and so you would have that solid barrier, and then the path would just uh, follow along. Right. It didn't sound like there was really a decision there because the path would just continue through. I was just making sure there wasn't a, another decision point there. No. Okay. No. This is, and then, well, what's not an option two, and you got to remember, is, is you have to also make a decision on the north connection as well, which is, you know, that current path right now. That's that uh, $6,885 that, because uh, right now that path at the north end isn't at that 684 contour, you have, to, you have to go back about 40 feet and raise that if you want that entire way to be 684. But isn't that what, Tom, isn't that what your team's already working on? We started, but it's, you know, just a, it's a little low right now, isn't it, Chuck? And I think we have to go back to that, um, where that one bench is, and that's another 40 feet. If yeah, you that's... want to maintain exactly the 684, I think yeah. it's like 682 or 
Yeah, that, that wall is just a hair over 683, that existing wall mm -hmm. that, uh, where that trail kind of terminates now at the north end. Mm -hmm. So what I just heard was the um, $22,620 takes care of the steps and, and continuing the walls, correct? Yes, and but then there was, an, there was an additional 3600 that's been spent. Right, which puts My, us up to the 25000 Yep. But you're saying that there's yet another... The 6885, I believe that's the number um, for that, the north end there as well. Okay, so. and budgeting, is that included in what we talked about? There's 30000 left over in the plastic plus 3000 Draw another 6000 out of that, or 6800 Give them a grand total here. $32,000. And everything's at six eighty four. At, at that expenditure. Okay, so without looking at 5000 plus 6885 So the decision we're making is to pull 12000 about 12000 out of Prospect Park, not 5000 I want to make sure the guys in the park board heard that. Yeah. Okay. Randy. Before you start, Randy, so Scott, in your motion, you had acceptance of plan two for the south part. That's right. Did you have anything for the north? That I will incorporate the, the, the work to, to be done approximately $6,600 more dollars for, $6,800 more dollars, excuse me, for the north end. So everything is at six eighty four. And, and Chuck, that's would that be your recommendation? Yes, that's my recommendation. Chuck, could you clarify? Well, my name is Randy Lau on the Hudson Park Board. Could you clarify again just what would take place for the 6885 on the north end? What clarify for me again exactly what that's going to? And uh, Mark, I don't know if you want to uh, if you have that breakdown or not. Um, but again, it's 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 cutting the path back. Uh, roughly 40 feet to the 684 and you know redoing the path to the connection and then you know some of the grading and the filling around that um, one of the things we should note too is that uh, these are the numbers Pember's given us and should you decide to go forward with these options um, you know we do still need to sit down and negotiate with them uh, there was just so many things floating out there that uh, you know, so that's the numbers they've given us, but we haven't had the opportunity to, to sit down hard and you know and look at their numbers closely to make sure that you're getting the value there. Um, you know, the other. Okay. Yeah, there, well, there's two things that happen on North End. My name's Mark Daly. I'm the construction engineer for Bonostro. Uh, not only would we raise the grade on the upper trail, but the lower trail would have to be regraded so it was a 10 to 1 or 5% slope so that it would also met 88 since we would not be meeting 88 down at the intersection. So there is some additional grading and the majority of the grading is on that lower trail uh, to raise that grade to 5%. I guess the only comment I wanted to make is that uh, I wanted clarification on the north end because it felt like with the addition of the ramp that came in there that somehow we were overlooking the connection of the existing lower uh, walkway along the existing seawall to the new part of the seawall. So I wasn't sure that I'd seen any plans or efforts in how we were going to connect the existing lower seawall on the north end to the new seawall. It's about 74 feet there between kind of where the, the wall ends, which I kind of consider the start of the new wall going south, and the existing or current end of the seawall there. Is that on some other plan or is that buried somewhere else as far as how we're going to do that? Obviously we need to connect those two. I mean that's a natural walkway along there. I just don't know that I've seen a plan as to how that's going to connect. Chuck, is that north end connection even on these maps? No, no I, I didn't not. think so. Um, so we're all sort what of... I, what I didn't feel it was necessary is we weren't going to change the alignment whatsoever. So the plan view would essentially stay the same. But yeah, the profile to meet that 5% and sure. to raise that you know that that would change so you know without a profile view of it it wouldn't really show money much 
nothing, there wouldn't be any real new information on that other than cutting back that 40. And in my memo, I do believe I talked about going back an additional 40 feet. So basically just grading at a lower slope. So yeah, right now it kind of goes down a little tougher. Now you're going to smooth it out. Cut it back and then, then grade it and taper it down. Okay. Cutting back on the from the existing, the, the existing trail feet. where it was cut off at that point. Yep. And has to be raised up so it all is at, at right. 684. Yeah. The only other comment, I think, as far as we bring this whole project to completion is the fact that there, there's a concern on my behalf, and I think on the rest of the park board, as far as how the existing walls end. And the bottom line is they end as kind of open walls with nothing preventing the erosion around the end of the walls. Now, obviously, it'll help on the south end to tie the upper wall into the stairwell, mm -hmm. which obviously we did in the middle of the wall, but now we still have I don't know, six other open ends out there that don't feel like it's completed. And I don't know if there's a plan or action that needs to be taken to discuss the options for that. Let me restate what you're saying. When you're saying existing wall, but what you mean is the newly constructed wall as part of this project that hasn't been completely landscaped yet, but it's already eroding there a little bit Correct. by the ends. How is that going to be Correct. finished? Is that Correct. what you're asking? That's correct. And I think there is a plan for finishing it. Do you understand his question? Yeah, you know, that would, you know, there's a lot of fine grading and, and bringing in uh, uh, black dirt and topsoil and, and smoothing that out and making that, you know, a uniform grade so it's, it's less prone to erosion. But it sounds like the only plan is to grade it and hopefully seed it and get it to stay in place. That that's. Yeah, so, okay. you know, there's there's no permanent sort of riprap or mm -hmm. any sort there's of other. There's not a return to those a return corner to the big end of the wall. The manufacturer doesn't make a return um, for that. I've never. I'd have to look into that. I don't think they have. A, I've never seen a return on that wall block. But so we no, reuse. There's no terminus block. It's just the blocks can. Typically, your retaining wall is buried into the grade at the end of the retaining wall, so halfway. So it's it, most of it should be covered up before everything is complete. And is that all included in what we've already? Yeah. I've tried to include everything, approximate prices into the remaining work. Okay, Chuck, I want to go back. Is this an okay time to ask a question? I want to go back to what you said about. Um, you know, we still need to negotiate these prices for the North End Trail connection. I mean, we're at a point where we need to make some decisions and approve funding. Mm -hmm. So we can't approve something tonight and then have you go back and we come back two weeks later with a hard number. I mean, I assume this was a number we were to approve. Well, they're, they're hard numbers from Pember. So which one? We haven't had the opportunity, though, to sit down and and to make sure that, um, that they're in order. So they're either gonna stay where they're at or come down. What's either gonna stay where they're at or come down? The, prices the figures that, that Pember gives. $32,000 that was discussed as a total here <clears throat> is all coming from Pember, who's yep. the contractor on this project. And you're implying that through further negotiation it might go down, but if we approve it at that, it won't go over that. That's correct. That's any further discussion on the motion? Ready to vote? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say no. Motion carries. Mr. Mayor, I'd like yes. to make a motion. I'd like to move to suspend or terminate any con contractual contractual agreements with Bonestro Engineering. Uh, for lack of uh, anything that we've ever accomplished in the last two years that have been on time. And that whether we want to move on to this and do a different meeting or do this tonight, I'm, I've had enough with Bonestro. And I want to make my motion very clear. I'd like to terminate their engineering services with the city of Hudson. And then I would like to also put out a new RFP for a new engineer. Well, I'm not sure whether to take that as a motion or whether to take that as a request for an item for future agenda because it's not on tonight's agenda. But it let is me on the 
Let me ask for clarification from the city attorney. Items from future agenda. Not on the, the Thunder Projects updates. Their name's on it. Yeah, but the, the subject matter is not on the agenda. If we took action on it and it wasn't properly noticed, then the action wouldn't be valid? Well, not necessarily. It would be a violation of the open meeting law and that's not a notice item on the agenda. Um, it's up to a court to decide whether to invalidate the action as a remedy for violating the open meeting law. I'm okay with putting it on the next agenda, then I'm not going to get into uh, any more spending of money on these guys. Aren't we in the middle of a, a one-year contract? Nope. Was it a contract? I, I doubt it's uh, got a term. I haven't looked at it, but I'd <coughs> be surprised, actually, if there's a term on yeah. it. But we'd well, have you, to look you, at you're it. You're just ruining my good, you know, I wanted to say, I wanted to finish the meeting on, hey, the triple left turn signs are up <laughs> at Crestview and Carmichael. Well, okay. Three and a half years. Yeah. Randy, future agenda. That's fine. Okay. Then uh, on that note, Chuck, update on projects. What? <laughs> Well, the uh, start off with the, the triple left turn is, is up and operational. They did start the, uh, the Crestview Drive Mill and Overlay project today with some of the remo removals uh, starting on the, um, the Carmichael end. And again, the revisions to the path that were requested by the city um, did hold up the the lakefront phase three, the landscaping portions of it, because that we need to know where that path is before, you know, they can be released. And so um, we'll process a change order in regards to that now that we know the direction of the city as well as um, when the, the alignment, so we can coordinate that with, uh, with the landscaping contractor. Uh, that also coincides with the, the irrigation contract that's down there as well. Uh, that's basically the highlights. I, uh, the, uh, the elementary school, that project, I believe uh, the county would, they were prepping to pave today, uh, F, and I'm not sure if they did that or not, but that was their intent to pave that today. Any other questions? I guess I'll just reiterate my request that in the future when there are maps that we're talking about mm -hmm. that those be available on PowerPoint for folks in the audience to see. It's real difficult for anyone to visualize anything that we're talking about. We have trouble when we're looking at the maps. So at a minimum they should be available. Thank you. I just clarify that PowerPoint is a product of a Microsoft Corporation, and there are many other presentation programs I'm sorry. equally as good. We don't need to we force people, people to into the evil it. empire. Whatever. <laughs> Chuck, can I? Can we just real briefly go through your memo? And, and so let me ask you: on, on item number three, was the mapping project is secondary sewer and storm sewer, and says final maps be delivered this week. Will that project be then done and off our list? that point yeah I mean it's it's a work in progress that needs to be updated annually but that yes annually but I mean for this year it's done yeah that's correct and then we'll have the Hanley Road pathway project and the Crestview project are ongoing that's our summer yeah the uh, big summer projects Hanley Hanley with pre-con is this Thursday and it'll take them a couple yep. weeks to do that project and then Carmichael Road and Crestview Drive the sign bridge is done correct and is there anything else on item number six or is that one really tonight the last night we're going to talk about that one crestview yes yeah that one's yep. done so oh you're going to have well you'll see a final payment a final payment 
Yeah. Three and six are are done. Um, stormwater utility study. Where's that one at specifically? A draft plan is being reviewed by city staff. So, you is that? Can you help me know where we're at on that? Yeah. Well, we've we've com we've completed it. We've sent a draft for uh, staff review, and and right now it's in the hands of uh, Denny Darnold. Okay. That, that that includes what nine Aldrich and. Is that, is that no, no, that's 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 uh, exploration of uh, your stormwater utility potential for having a stormwater utility. And oh, that's right. Okay. Potentially creating a completely separate utility as we have a water utility that would be fee based. Developers would pay a fee into the stormwater, not developers. Resident. Residential and commercial. Yeah, you're 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 approaching an MS4 community. Once the new census comes out, uh, there's going to be some additional requirements on the city as far as uh, managing and maintaining their stormwater system. Chuck, back to Crestview and uh, Drive Mill and Overlay. Um, I brought this up two months ago, I think, at a meeting of public safety on the Higgins Street, 11th Street, on that uh, Crestview intersection. Would not be the time for us to make a change order and make that a conventional four-way stop, stoplight intersection. If we're going into that, it would be cheaper for us to get in there now and make that take out the slip lane, make it a conventional stoplight. Yeah, I know. I know our transportation engineer Shelley Johnson has put together a few memos and have worked with Denny Darnold on that. So if if that's something that the city's Considering, yeah, now the time would be the time to uh, to look at that, just because of the you know the work that's going on there. Uh, I believe that'll be our recommendation from Denny. Will be on our next agenda for public safety. I don't think we have time, do we? I think a more yeah, important question is, do you have funds? Stop lights or stop signs? Stop, stop lights sign. are going to cost Same over two hundred There, whether remove, I don't know. I'm just asking the question. We it we makes have a couple. That's why we're digging into it to do it now. Yeah, they'll, they'll be spending two weeks uh, with removals and replacement of the curb and gutter in the median. And then after that, they'll begin their milling operation. Um, so if there's, um, you know, additional removals, that sort of thing, you know, that, that could likely, you know, I don't know if that's part of that solution there as far as the four-way, whether or not how much concrete work has to go on there. Okay. Okay, any other questions on update on projects? Is there any other items for this meeting that I missed? Move to adjourn. We have a motion and a second by Lori. No? Oh, you're not ready to adjourn yet. Oh, okay. Weren't we still on future items? Yes, items for future agendas. Are we going to get an update on the library? Uh, the library agreement? our next meeting I'm not asking for one now but can we get one in our how, how brief can I be <laughs> her question is a yes or no question <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> thank you second now we have a second to adjourn all in favor say aye aye, aye. aye. opposed meetings adjourned